Otero Garcia, the project coordinator of the Community Prevention Partnership. Cuscaliska, or Cuski, is dedicated to creating a violence-free community and has been a member of Project Peace, which is a student-led um, violence prevention group consisting of Reading High School and Middle School students for almost three years, um, and two of which she has served as president. Through Project Peace, she's impacted the community by organizing the annual Peace March, serving as the master of ceremonies for an, uh, an audience of 500 people, helped in designing drug prevention programs, um, public service announcements that will be shown in schools, and led drug prevention presentations to middle school students. Kuski also serves as the youth representative for the Northeast Community Springboard Coalition, which is mostly an adult coalition consisting of law enforcement, community leaders, concerned citizens, and social services working together to reduce crime and prevent substance abuse within the community. Through her work with the coalition, she has represented Project Peace and her peers, been vital to the success of the K2, which is Synthetic Marijuana Forum, been interviewed by Channel 69 News, and attended the Community Anti-Drug Coalitions of America's National Youth Leadership Initiative Training. Um, this training is a National Drug Prevention Leadership Conference that helps prepare young people for civic engagement so they can contribute to the development of safe, healthy, and drug-free communities as current and future leaders. Kuski, and I, I quote this from her application, exemplifies the spirit of volunteerism. She understands that she can make a difference in the community. She possesses the qualities of a true leader. She has passion, vision, empathy, flexibility, and a great sense of altruism. Kuski, we applaud you for all of your work and look forward to all your future endeavors. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, even though my glasses are getting fixed right now, you all look beautiful, by the way. <laughs> um, I want to thank Project Peace for this because without them, I couldn't be here. And also my mom, she's right over there. She told me not to point her out, but I did. <laughs> I wanted to say thank you for helping me believe in myself. And I remember being a shy girl and looking up at other community members thinking, I want to make a change. How do I do that? And with my school district, I've learned how to be a great leader and a better person. So I want to thank my school district as well. And hope you guys have a great night. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to actually present our community partner award. Um, this year, our Community Partner Award uh, goes to Corey Miller. Corey is a guidance counselor at Southwest Middle School in the Reading School District. Um, she is an integral part of the team at Southwest, and their school has been incredibly welcoming and friendly, um, and so easy to work with in terms of our Young Women's Summit. Um, we just had our trip to the Capitol. They've just been an absolutely amazing 